We're out chasing rainbow trout. It's kind of an early spring pattern. One of the things that has been working really well for us for rainbows, and sometimes an overlooked option, is a maglip, a Yakima bait maglip, a little bit smaller size. I'm going to run you through a couple ways to kind of figure out how these rainbows are reacting to these uh, sizes and colors. So we got a little bit overcast today, but it's getting kind of bright. Super clear water conditions. Uh, we're going to probably run a fire tiger and maybe like a bright gold pattern. We're going to just flatline them back, run them down about eight or 10 feet, probably 150 feet back. And then we'll show you how we work through our day uh, looking for these rainbow trout. That's a fatty, it's right away on the gold. Just got out here in about 17 feet of water, but there's fish just surfacing all over the place. And we're at 150 feet back and we're running them about two and a half miles an hour. And with the maglip, it's, they're made for what they call a skip beat action. And what that means is that it has a nice little flutter and then it just kicks off to the side. There you go. Big old rainbow trout. Oh, there he is. There's a double. We decided to put the uh, put the electric down. And the one thing about these maglips, they're super versatile. You can run them from as, as slow as you can run them as slow as a uh, mile an hour and as fast as five. So we slowed down to a mile an hour with the electric. We've got the rod tips high. We're just trying to run them real slow, right, at, right on top. Look at the size of that perch. <laughs> there you go. That's a double. That's fish right there. <laughs> we started dragging these maglets around for the rainbows and it caught a couple deep and then decided to move them up. Uh, everything's on the surface, it seems like. So we got the rod pointed up. We, we slowed down to like 1.2. Uh, Louie's been getting them on the fire tiger, but I don't have a fire tiger um, in the smaller one. So I'm going to experiment with some 2.0, some little tiny 2.0s and some 2.5. Try a couple different colors since uh, these ones run a little bit shallow and keep them right up on top of the surface. Man. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Just hammered the chub. That's pretty fun. Yeah, they seem to be up in the water column a bit. Oh, <laughs> look at the size of that thing. Dude, that's 20 plus inch rainbow right there. Oh, yeah. That's a chunk. That thing fell right out of there. Look at that. What a fish, huh? Measure them real quick on the net. 20 yeah, inch rainbow right there on the chub. Look at that. Face up a little bit. Man, what a fish, huh? One of the things we figured out here today, this morning, is that these rainbow trout are wanting them really close to the surface. So what we did is we went to the 2.0s because they won't dig as hard. We went with the little tiny ones, little 2.0s, and they're digging this little uh, chub pattern. So it's kind of a natural pattern. Uh, light conditions are kind of hit and miss. Got a pink stripe down the middle, and the, the big rainbows are pounding this thing. So we got our rod tips up high. We're going back 150 feet and they're just hammering them right on the surface. They're only running a couple feet deep, and man, just had another one on right there. 